QuickBooks Online 2023, create and upload receipts and bank fee data. Get ready to earn the skills needed to boost your bank books on up with QuickBooks Online 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file using the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top and switching the view down below. Duplicating some tabs like we're gonna do every time here. We're gonna right click on the tab up top and duplicate it. As that's thinking, we're gonna right click again and duplicate again. Then as the tab to the right is thinking, we're gonna go into that middle tab down to the reports on the left hand side, open up the balance sheet. And then we'll tab to the right and reports on the left again, this time the profit and loss, the P and the L, the income to the statement. Closing up the hamburger up top, we're gonna change that range. And let's this time go from 010124 tab 123124, January to December 2024 is where the practice problem will be done at this point. We already have some data in here. If you don't have any data in here, that's okay. You can start from scratch. We're gonna go to the tab to the left, close up the hamburger, and we'll do the same range to the change 010124 tab 123124 and that's going to be the range we'll be working with let's go to the tab to the left now we're going into the banking tab because we're in the accountant view and we're looking at our receipts so i'd like to just add a couple of receipts here now if we had our phone app we can do it with our phone app but uh, I'm just gonna basically d upload our receipts from the computer. So if we have the phone app, what the phone app really does, the added thing that the phone app does, obviously it's mobile and it allows us to take a picture, but really it's a kind of a, a PDF creation that is being made because the PDF format as opposed to the JPEG format is usually the one that uh, the system you would think would be most easily able to convert and pull the data in so it can actually record a transaction with it. So if I go on, if I go on over here and let's say, let's go onto this blank sheet <laughs> and this is going to be where I'm just going to build a receipt in Excel just so we can practice with it. So you can pull out your favorite receipt and take an image of it if you want, or we can just build some in Excel here that would kind of mirror a receipt. So I'm going to select the whole tab. Uh, with the arrow and just just put some formatting into our cells right clicking format the cells here and let's make it as a general rule currency uh, uh, negative numbers I'm going to make with a bracket and then I'll get rid of the dollar signs and we'll keep the decimals let's do that and then I'll scroll in I'm going to hold down control and scroll in so we can see what we are doing and then my first generic receipt will just say is like Office Depot, right? I'm just going to say, all right, Office Depot. If hopefully I spelled that right, the date would be on it. Let's, let's make this a date format field, home tab, numbers group. I'm going to change it to just a short date. Give me a short date format because the date would be on the receipt, 2524, let's say. And then I'm just going to imagine we have some stuff that we bought, right? So I'll say we, we bought paper. And that, that cost, you know, uh, I don't know, $70. We bought post-its, post-its, and that cost like, like uh, $15. And uh, we bought, uh, we bought staples, staples. We bought, we're like $10. And then, and we might have pennies involved here. We might like put some pennies, that'd be more realistic because they, do that it's usually like 10.99 right everything's something 99 that's how it usually is so then we have and then this is going to be the subtotal sub total and then we'll sum that up equals the sum of that 
I'll put an underline here, home tab, font group underline. And I think I probably misspelled subtotal, but we'll get back to that later if that's bugging anyone. Sales tax. Let's just pretend we had a sales tax of 5% just to deal with that. That's often on a receipt. Let's take this times 0.05, just as a generic sales tax, $4.80 that big daddy government's gonna take a piece of. So the total then after sales tax is gonna be equals to the sum of these two. And then we're gonna say that we paid the same amount, 100.79. And that means that the uh, that the change or any if there was a cash transaction would be zero. A receipt looks something like that, right? That's a general kind of generic uh, type of receipt. Let's see if let's review this and just say uh, spelling is the spelling okay? Post its. I don't know how to use, how do you say post its post its that's good i'm just going to ignore that one oh, i spelled subtotal right so let's do a couple more i'm going to hold down control and drag this tab to the right and just do a couple other ones i'll just save this as a pdf let's say we did another one for office depot because it's the easiest kind of thing to do and let's say we spent more on paper and because we go through paper we this this is not a green business per, apparently we just tear the trees down and put them and print stuff on them Let's insert another one here and let's say we need ink. Printer ink that we can put on the paper that we're using. That's like expensive stuff. 100, I don't know. And then we didn't need any more post-its. Let's delete the post-its. And then staples. We're using a lot of staples because we have a lot of paper. So we bought more staples. That's fine. Okay, and let's say the staples are... 1277 I don't know and then the sales tax and whatnot and let's make a couple more I'm gonna hold down control drag to the to the right see if I can make another one here and let's say this time uh, we didn't maybe maybe we bought some we had low a low month we only bought like twenty dollars of paper and then uh, ink we bought some more ink okay 37 of ink I keep on going 77 that's funny and then let's say now we didn't buy staples we bought paper clips paper clips because that's the other way we like to staple stuff because we like to punch holes in the in the trees but sometimes we go easy on them and just use paper clips so this is going to be 16 something i don't know so there's uh that and i didn't change the total down here let's fix this I paid the same amount, so that should come out to zero. Let, and let's do a different one now. Let's do like a restaurant. So let's do, and let's change the dates too. I should change the date. This happened, let's say on three, four, and this happened on, let's say uh, three, 321 and then let's do another one i'm going to copy this one over and let's say this one was restaurant Re this was just restaurant i don't know how to spell it it's like a french french name restaurant a b c a restaurant we went to the restaurant and then this is like 27 and we bought at the restaurant, let's say, chicken curry. It was a curry place, uh, apparently. And then we had fried chicken, fried chicken, and a cheeseburger, cheeseburger. I'm just making this up. I'm actually copying it from some other receipt I found somewhere. I'm plagiarizing a receipt don't tell anyone and then this one <laughs> this one is gonna be a uh, a coke or soda let's say it's actually a beer on here but I won't put beer we'll keep and then we had a, a water they charged us for water oh my goodness ketchup soy sauce if they charge us for soy sauce I'm not going back 
any case chicken curry it will say it's eleven dollars and the fried chicken ten ninety nine cheeseburger eight twenty the soda that's where they really get you it's like we'll say like four dollars for a soda i don't know and then the water the water i mean you should at least say you charged me for the cup not the water itself crying out loud and then let's delete these two and so we have something like that so here's our subtotal sales tax we might not have any sales tax if it's a restaurant in the united states so we might just delete this and we might just say that we paid that and then this minus this so something like that a beautiful receipt let's do one more restaurant one and then we'll upload it let's copy this over here and say this happened on four uh uh five four five let's just do the same thing but i'll change the chicken curry went up to 15.99 fried chicken went up to uh uh 14.99 cheeseburger went up to 9.40 the soda went up to uh five dollars and they charged 120 for the cup of water this time the water was even brown i don't even i think there was something in that water even they still charged us for the water it's like it wasn't even clean for crying out loud could have got the could have got the water anyways whatever whatever so now let's go ahead and save these i'm going to save these as a pdf so so now i'm going to say file up top save as and we'll save it not as an excel but as a pdf which would kind of mirror what your phone is doing so i want to save it as a PDF, so we can just change it here. Where is that P? There's so many things. There it is. PDF file. I don't even know what half those things do. Whatever. We'll save it as a PDF. And so there we have it. Let's close it up. I think it just saves one at a time. Close the current tab. Close all the, close them all up. Close them all up. Shut them all down. All right. So there is our receipt. Okay, so let's do it again for the second one. We'll just do, we'll just save these, file, save as, browse it. And we want to make that a P to the D to the F, number two. Let's put a two next to it. P to the D to the F, man. And then we'll say next one. And then we'll save as again and do it again. Ultra base. Ultra vez, numero tres. Ultra vez, numero tres. And then we'll say, let's do it again. Number four, file, save as. Four, close the door. And we'll say that's a PDF. Number four. One, two, three, four, close the dang door. And then number five, we'll go file save as browse and make that a p to the d to the f and make that numero five <laughs> numero five all right save it all right so there's our mock receipts we're going to pull them into uh our system now so if i go back into quickbooks we can imagine we've got these just we're just going to pull them in from the computer uh now which is and then we'll be at a similar spot as though we used the super cool method which is of course the app on the phone but i am lacking super in super coolness so we're gonna do it this way so we're gonna say then can i add them all at the same time i probably could drag and drop them that would be the easiest thing so let's just open those there they go boom and so now they're processing as those are thinking, uh, let's, and, and it should extract the, there, there, that was quick. So see how fancy quick that is. And so now we've got the information in here for like the office depot one. And so there's the receipt on the left and then we can populate it, which we'll do next time. But impressive, impressive. The, Obi-Wan has trained you well.
Okay. So now, <laughs> I don't know where they, anyway. Uh, let's do the same thing for the bank feeds now. So now I'm gonna come on to the bank feeds and we'll say that that I'm gonna add the bank feed so that we can match these items to the bank feed. So let's do a mock bank feed entries. So I'm gonna add another Excel worksheet and we'll format this one. Currency bracketed negative. Actually, I won't do the brackets because that makes the bank feeds wonky weird. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna zoom in and all we need on the fields are is going to be the date and then the amount and then the description and did i spell description right review it i did por supuesto kc i spelled it right let's I, I bolded this let's make the column a a date field home tab number group and we want to use that the short date thing and then we'll just mirror i'm just going to copy the totals that will be decreases to the checking account so this one i'm going to imagine that that it's just going to be a decrease to the checking account of the amount of the total of the receipt imagine that we paid it with like a a bank debit card or something like that right so i'm going to say okay on two five twenty four something's going to come through our bank feeds at 100 79 and the description if it were an electronic transfer of some kind would have oftentimes the name office depot and a bunch of other stuff in it that we would have to pull in to office depot and then now if i didn't have if i paid with cash or something like that then i might not have the i mean you know i might not have this other detail so we'll talk more about that later but if these were electronic transfers we'd see this come through so let's just add it as though they were electronic transfers for these, we had another Office Depot. We paid 20606. This is Office Depot. And then we had another Office Depot on 32124. We paid 7855. Office Depot. I need to make these negatives, by the way. I'm going to double click in here. Negativize them. They need to be negative. They've been negativized. Negative nannies. Okay, nannies aren't always negative. Nannies get a bad name. They're not always negative. Negative nannies. 327.24. This is going to be negative 35.19. And this is going to be the restaurant. A, B, C. The restaurant. The restaurant that we went to. And this one is on 4524 negative 46.58 and once again the restaurant abc so hopefully i got those numbers right let me just double check here looks muy b to the n b n to me okay so then let's save that as a p to the d to the f or no we're going to save this one as a csv file because that's a file that we can upload for the bank feeds so we can see it and imagine it coming through the bank feeds so to do that, we go to the file up top. Well, let's first, let's save it this way to make sure I don't lose that data. And then file, save as. And then I'm gonna make it not an Excel file, but a CSV comma delimited file. That's the one that we can upload from the bank feed so we can play with this stuff. And that's what we wanna do, playing is fun times. We're gonna do some playing here. So it looks like this as opposed to that. And, uh, and uh, this is the one we can upload. That is the one we cannot. So let's go back on over and we're gonna go to our banking tab now. So let's go into our banking. If you don't have any bank feeds set up in, in a practice file, then you can just add the account as you upload the file. So instead of linking directly to the bank, we're just gonna upload, hitting the drop down, upload from a file our banking stuff and we have the option to pick up the file one of those options is a csv file the thing that we created in our case from the excel file let's go into that and there it is there's our bank feed file is that it that's it that's the one you're the one wyatt let's save that one 
and then don't let them get you too man we're gonna add that <laughs> it's gonna be is i got a that's a movie line it's in my head i don't know why is is this the first it is we're gonna say it's a one column thing and then it's gonna be month month day day year 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 we have the date to the date the description to the description amount to the amount those are the headers that are pulling through we can continue and check it out to see if it's doing what we think it should these are the amounts those are the descriptions that's the dates looks movie b to the end b in so i'm going to select the whole thing checking them all off so we can continue and add them in it says quickbooks will import five transactions using the fields you choose do you want to import it yes let's do it people import complete accept your transactions done so now if i go into my checking account i have those transactions have been imported and you can see here that they've matched them to the receipts right so if i go into these see how how nice that is now that would only work if of course we had electronic transfers that we made and we've talked about a couple different scenarios that we have with the receipts it might not have been that we made an electronic transfer we might we might have paid up these things with cash or we might have paid it with our personal checking account or our personal uh credit card account in which case we'd have to think of a system on how we're going to add those into quickbooks but if we paid something with a receipt and we also used an electronic transfer of some kind out of our checking account then you've got this nice uh, matching matching uh thing that we see here we found the receipt and matched it out so now we've got some data to deal with we've got the bank feed side of things and we've got our our receipts side of things and we could imagine those receipts came in through the cool way with the mobile app or the not so cool way with 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 our computer uh, uh pdf stuff and we'll uh we'll go run some scenarios with that data in future presentations